Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people in metal shaping and I'm here back again now on YouTube with tips and tricks and on this little video I'm going to show you how to make this wire edge where we put the wire in and the bead and um, this was a question that I had almost from the first class when I started the classes in Sweden from student how can you make that wire edge because so many old fenders was broken and I didn't have the answer for many many years but when I once figured it out how to do it it doesn't take long time so that's what I'm going to show you here pretty quick in the bead roller a little hammer and dolly work and then the bead roller again and there we're going to have the part so here I am over to the bead roller and I'm going to show you how to first roll this edge around that wire that goes inside I cut this out in the radius and it's it's the radius of the fender uh, and plus 516 or 8 millimeter so I have for that extra material to round, uh, go around the, the wire I have set up this dies so I'm using this as a guide for an inner curve because I can't use this red guide and then I have a round one here so it's going to match the wire and I set this in the center on 516 8 millimeter and I'm going to run it like that and I put the dies light together and then uh, the machine flex the rest so I'm going to do this in probably in about four four steps I can go a little faster uh, if you have a speed control on your machine you can go any speed you want the more you get used to the bead roller the faster you can go and don't fight with the machine the machine do the job just keep it uh, constantly where it should be and the touching point is down there like that now we have 90 degrees I'm going to switch the bottom die so I can bend it 45 degrees more so I just changed the dies here so I have a 55 degrees die here on this side so and the same die on the top so you see how I adjust it there so that means that when I go in here now I must go in the same track as before but I can lift it up much more than before so that means that we can bend it much more than 90 degrees so but you must be careful here so you do you go in the same spot so I'm looking at the top wheel this time so I go in the same track as before and I need to do this in, in a few more steps I do one more time there so this time I hold my hand up and hold the sheet all the way up to the top die there there you go so you see we have a little curve on this side now but I don't think it doesn't matter because when we fold this over it's uh, it's going to be pretty straight and when we have the wire in you can actually bend it a little if you want so what I'm going to do now I'm going to go over to the sandbag and lock the wire in here and then I'm going to roll it in the bead roller to round it around the wire so here I am over at the sandbag and I using the sandbag to put the dolly on because it's a really good work table the dolly stays here it moves little but it stays but if you put the dolly on a table it moves everywhere so what I did here in the start I locked the wire in there <coughs> so it stays there and then I do a little hammer so the wire continue to stay there
So a little tricky there in the end, but it it came out nice there. So I think that should be be fine there. I can do a little adjustment here in the in the beginning. Like that. So now the wire stays there. So now I go over to the bead roller <clears throat> and I already set up my second bead roller. It's good to have two bead rollers. No, I'm just joking. You, you need one. That's all you need. So what I'm going to use now is the flat die on the bottom and a female die on the top. And what I'm going to do here, I can start like that and push it in there. And you can see that it was pretty close with everything there. So now it's really rolled it over there. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the dies in the bead roller to special dies for 33-34 Ford and I can show you the trick. So now I have changed the dies in the bead roller. This is a special die that is made for 33-34 Ford wire edge. So uh, this will create the bead that we're going to make. And when I turn this down, you can see that little hole there. That's where the wire is going to go. So what I'm going to do, I feed the wire there in first. I probably need to open this up and see it first. One, two. So I put that in and one and two. So I put the, the, the dice light together so I know where I am and I have a good start there now. So I keep the panel flat and then I'm going to run it there. So now you can see how this one looks like on the side that comes out. There you go. So here I am over at the fender again, so you can see the, the piece that I made. And it only took a few minutes to do. And here we have a piece that I have done before, and I had repaired this fender and welded that in, and it came out really nice. And I, this was the tips and tricks for the day for the YouTube. And uh, if you would like to follow us more, go to www.youtube.com slash Lassie Metal Shaping. See you there.